how to get started in DeFi on Sui part two. We are mostly looking at DeFi dApps, decentralized applications. And today we're gonna look at Scallop, Turbos, and Pseudo Finance. Now this video is just gonna walk you through the process of getting started in DeFi. And we're gonna briefly go over what these dApps have available and how you use them. But this is not financial advice. It is just educational material for you to understand how easy it is to use Sui and how fast it is. And I am gonna show the transaction times in real time, no edits. And if I mess up while talking there, well, that, that's that. All right, and this video is in collaboration with the Sui Foundation. They left it up to me to help educate people on how to use Sui. I have been using Sui and I do personally endorse it because I like using it. So let's see how good this user experience is. And to get started, we are going to need a crypto wallet. We're going to use the official Sui wallet just because it has ZK login. That means you can log in with a Google account or Twitch account. And of course, you can use a seed phrase or private key if you need to. So we're at the official Sui website. We go to Sui wallet. That's from the directory. This is what it looks like in the Chrome extension. Over 900,000 users. So don't get scammed. Make sure it's going to look something like this if you're in the Chrome store. We're going to add the extension and then it pops up and we have our signing preferences. We're going to use our Google account. So this is us creating a brand new wallet tied to our Google account. Let's see how long it takes. Select Google. I'm signing in with my burner email address. So you can spam it, whatever you want. I'm using it just for this video and that's it. Two clicks, two clicks. I have a crypto wallet. Now we need to fund our wallet with some Sui and I am going to copy my address here and we're gonna to go to Coinbase and we're just gonna use that for this example. Sui is available on pretty much every crypto exchange. So I'm just gonna pick up some Sui here and then I'm gonna withdraw to the address we copied. So this is me withdrawing Sui from Coinbase to our Sui wallet that we just created. And if you're looking for your crypto address, it is in the Sui Chrome extension. You're gonna see it here. And then you just wanna copy it right there. And I'm gonna bring up the actual mini extension and you're gonna see it right there as well. I have withdrawn this. I have withdrawn the SWE from Coinbase and it's here. It is damn fast. That withdrawal on Coinbase was instant and our account has been funded and now we can do some DeFi on SWE. So the first dApp we will be using will be Scallop. It is the leading decentralized application on SWE at the moment with the highest TVL that's total value locked. This is DeFi Llama. It just kind of shows you what's going on within a blockchain and the different protocols and their rankings. And we wanna to go to Scallop. Now you don't wanna Google any of these things cause you could go to a scam website by mistake. So if you are on DeFi Llama, the official site, you'd wanna click into one of these and then find the official website by scrolling down and hitting website. So here we are at the Scallop website and we want to launch app. That brings up the interface here and we connect our wallet. We are using the first one here, Sui Wallet, and connect. Now we are connected. You see the Sui balance we have. We have 532 Sui available. And what you can do on Scallop, it is a lending and borrowing platform. Let's say I want to uh, borrow some USDC against my Sui. I'm gonna have to put up some collateral. So I'm gonna deposit. 100 Sui, hit deposit. The Chrome extension is gonna pop up here. And then I approved the transactions. So that's pretty much hitting deposit and approve. And that's it. So that's gonna take a second there. The deposit has been successful and that, yeah, that's it. So now I can go to borrowing pools and you can see the different borrowing APYs and reward APRs. So APY, that's the compounded interest rate. APR is the interest rate you're getting. Those rewards don't earn interest. So you'd want to uh, claim them and reinvest them to actually get APY. So now that we have some available collateral, as you can see there, we can borrow USDC, USDT, or uh, one of these other things. 
Now I'm going to borrow some USDC and the max available to me is 118 USDC. Obviously, if the price of my collateral goes down, uh, I have the risk of losing funds. So I don't really want to take on that much risk. And maybe I want to borrow about half the value of it. So I'm going to hit borrow USDC. I'm going to get a pop up from the Chrome extension. Give that a second. And then I am going to approve the transaction. And it's going to be done in just a second. And it's been successful. Now the pop-up doesn't close automatically, so I just click out of it. And now if we open up this tab at the top left, you can see that we have USDC in our accounts as well as SWE. So that's how you essentially put up collateral and borrow against that. In Scallop, it looks a little different than other platforms because they won't let you borrow against your collateral uh, with the same asset. So let's say you put up SWE, you can't borrow SWE. They don't want you to loop yourself to death, which has happened on other platforms. But the reason people use lending platforms is because sometimes they don't want to sell their assets. They want to borrow against them to maybe leverage themselves a little more. Maybe they just believe it's going to keep going up. So they put up the coins as collateral and then borrow against the value of it. So it just gives people more options when doing decentralized finance and it can create more opportunities, but it does create more risk. Now, to understand the borrowing rates, you can see here the borrow APY for USDC is 1.82%, but at the moment they have reward APR, so I'm actually getting paid to borrow USDC at the moment. Now the reward APR can be temporary and it can change over time, so I wouldn't really count on this long term, but it is a way for them to kickstart the ecosystem where they can have people borrowing and lending on the platform so it can sustain itself. Now we are going to go into collateral pools. So let's say I have SWE and I just want to earn interest on it. So, sorry, that's not collateral. We're going to go to lending. So there are a few tabs here, lending, borrowing, lending pools, as coin pools, collateral pools, borrowing pools. It can seem overwhelming, but you just want to make sure you're in the right section. If we're going to borrow some funds, we want to be here. If we're going to lend some funds, we want to be here. So I want to lend out my SWE, so I'm going to supply 100 SWE, supply and stake SWE, so it's going to do two actions there. And you know, if you are on the EVM chain, you always have to authorize and approve and approve and authorize. There's a lot of clicks. The reason I, why I like SWE is it's one click and it's doing all these other things in the background and the user experience is just significantly better. It's, it's already staked. So you can see here that uh, we are getting a supply APY of 17.51%. So right now, that's really good because if you were going to stake your SWE, you'd probably make like 3 or 4%. And we can see that in our Chrome extension, stake and earn SWE. And you, these are different validators. Let's say we select this one. We are going to get a staking APY of 3.33%. So if you want to use a lending platform, you're going to get significantly more, 3% or 17%. So there are a lot more opportunities to use these decentralized applications in their early stages because of all the rewards. Hi, Risk Panda here to tell you that DeFi is risky. Decentralized applications can get hacked and cause you to lose all your funds. Whereas validators have been historically safer as an investment if you're investing in the blockchain rather than a specific protocol, which inherently has more risks. So if you are going to use DeFi and decentralized applications, please do so responsibly. Next up, Turbos Finance. So we are at the number eight protocol here, Turbos, and it is a decentralized exchange. We are going to go to the website. And we are here, we want to connect our wallet, and we are using the SWE wallet, and we are going to approve our connection, and now we can start using Turbos. Now there are a few things you can do on Turbos, it is a decentralized exchange, you can swap for any tokens on the SWE blockchain, and you can add liquidity. So let's walk through that. So by default, we are launched into the trading page, and you can see it defaults to SWE, and FUD, but we can pick any other coin we want available. There are a lot. I don't endorse anything because I always have to give like a long explanation of like 
what it is and why I'm investing in it. So for this example, we're just going to do some sweet USDC and we're going to keep it simple and I am going to swap. So I'm going to hit trade and approve. And just in just a second, we're going to have some USDC in our account and the trade succeeded. Now that's essentially how you do a trade and you can always reverse it with these up down arrows and we're going to look at earning. So we're going to switch to the next tab and we can always participate in a pool. Let's say I want to add liquidity to the SWE USDC pool since I have both those assets. I can hit add liquidity here or I can just uh, create a pool if I want to use a different trading pair. So I'm going to add liquidity for the SWE USDC. It shows us our estimated APR. That is pretty cool. So it calculates like how much volume they've been doing and then the trading range and it gives you an estimated APR. I haven't actually seen that on other swapping platforms, so pretty cool. And that's how we actually set our price range. So if you look closely here, it shows us the price of SWE if we're expecting it to be between $1.23 and $2.34. It's going to set up that trading range for us and it's going to and we can expect 102% in APR if it stays within that range over the next year. So you can see if I max it out, I can get 10,000% APR, but the range is so tiny. It's 69.9 cents and 79 cents. So uh, yeah, you don't want a range that tight because you might only be in that range and get trades for a very short period of time. Let's, uh, let's make it a bigger range and 87% is still pretty nice. So I am going to put in the maximum amount of USDC available, and then it's going to put in the equivalent amount needed in SWE. We are going to add liquidity. We are going to approve this, and then we're going to approve the transaction. And now it's adding liquidity. It's doing things in the background super quick, one click. So uh, at least from our wallet, we only needed one click. We just didn't have to keep doing all these approvals. I'm looking at you EVM chains, there are a lot of approvals people need to do, which is why I really like SWE, simplifies that process, it's very smooth. And now we can see the liquidity we added here, you can see we're earning 0.3% per trade, our price range 116 to 249, the status, that's in range, if it's out of range, that means it's outside of the price range we set, and we're no longer earning trading fees, and it's traded all our coins for either SWE or USDC. And then the amount of liquidity we have and unclaimed rewards. If we want to remove our liquidity, that is incredibly easy. You just go here, 100%, remove it all. Or you can just remove half of it or however much you want. So I'm going to remove liquidity. I'm going to approve that. And the fees are just so low on SWE that uh, you won't even notice how much it costs. So I'm going to hit close. I actually haven't been looking at the fees just because they are very low. So we're going to add liquidity again and we're going to look at the fees. So I'm going to hit earn, we're going to add liquidity and we can add liquidity again in a different price range. Let's say we want something more aggressive and we think that SWE is going to trade between $1.55 and $1.87. We can do that. We're going to add 20 USDC and it gives us the equivalent in SWE. We can add liquidity just because we can have multiple positions available. And you can see our confirmation page. I'm going to hit approve. It shows us our balance changes. And the estimated gas fee is 0 0.020819. Yeah, very low. It's 2% of one SWE. So that's like a penny, one cent, something like that. I'm going to approve the transaction. I'm going to hit close. And you can see it was added to our manage positions and rewards tab here and anytime we want to go back here we go to turbos we go to earn and then it's this manage position and rewards so that's how you use uh, a decentralized exchange that's how you swap and that's how you add liquidity next up pseudo finance so we're back in DeFi llama we scroll down we go to pseudo finance scroll down website and we connect our wallet. We are using the SWE wallet. Connect, sign, and now we can start using pseudo finance. Now, pseudo finance allows you to do leverage trading and to trade real world assets. 
So we can try that now. We are going to pay with SUI and we can either long or short different assets here. It let, allows you to trade um, stocks. So you could trade against coin, Apple, Tesla, Meta, uh, treasuries. Uh, yeah, that's it's pretty unique. And it is still a new platform, so they are going to be adding things over time. So we can also short. And then this is an interactive scale to show how much you want to short by anywhere from 1x to 25x. So for example, let's say we want to short Apple and we think that their products are overpriced and no one's buying them anymore. And then we can select how much leverage we want anywhere from 1 to 25x. Let's be uh, conservative. 5x or lower is something you should be doing if you are trading for the medium to long term. Uh, and you kind of have instincts of like, okay, I really believe in this. If you use more than 5x, always think short term. So we are going to pay in SWE. We are going to put up 3. 3 SWE to short Apple at 3x. So we can't actually do that yet because the market's not open. And you can only do that when uh, the stock market is available to trade. So this is pseudo finance and real world assets. And for now, we'd only be able to trade against crypto assets like Bonk or SWE. So instead of trying to short Apple, we are going to uh, long SWE. And this is just for this example. This is not financial advice. We are going to long SWE. We're going to pay 10 SWE. And we're going to do something like 3.5x. And you can see access is only granted to SLP, FUD, ISSP, MOVE, and AF SWE and FUDIS holders. Okay, not a problem. We, we can get some. So luckily, we can go back to Turbos Finance and pick up some FUD. That is a meme token. So I'm here in Turbos. We're still connected. Let's just get like one SWE worth. It's fetching the best price. Hit trade. Approve. And now we have some FUD. We have a lot of FUD for one SWE. So that is one of the meme tokens that are available on SWE. So, and they kind of have some good partnerships because they're saying, hey, you better get this and we'll give you access to using this platform. So I'm going to refresh this page. And we're going to give this a shot now. So 10 SWE. We can bring that down to 3.5x. Um, I try not to use a lot of leverage because I invest for the long term. So we're going to hit a market long. And yeah, you can see we have access to it just by holding one of the meme tokens that it, it required for us to access this platform. So here's our confirmation page, confirm long. And then we should see it pop up. And it shows us that our balance is going to go down by 10.01. And that 0.01 came from the open fee. So there is a fee to open these positions. Our gas fee is 0.024. I'm going to approve that. And that's it. So now we have a long available. And our position will pop up here. Give that a second to appear. More than a second. Maybe I'll refresh the page. I'm going to give it a little longer. I just got to keep chatting till something happens. And you got to remember that, oh, there it is, that these platforms are still very new and still building things up. So, you know, you can expect better performance and better options in the near future. So you can see our position there. And it doesn't really adjust well to the page size because I have to make it bigger so you can see it comfortably. But uh, at the regular scale, you can see we can adjust our position or we can close it. Those are the options there at the bottom right. And we can also share our PNL. So that's how you use pseudo finance. And of course, there are more platforms available on SWE. Let me know in the comments if uh, there's something you want to learn and maybe we can do a deeper dive on it. Now, this is the most important site that you're going to use whenever you are in the SWE blockchain. It is SWEvision.xyz. So I'm going to open up the Chrome extension. I'm going to copy my address. I'm going to paste that in there. We're going to do a search. We're going to select our account. And then it's going to show our portfolio value. It's going to show the coins we're holding. It's going to show what we have in different protocols. So you can see Turbos. 
the Sweet USDC two pools that we added to. You can see our scallop that we have staked on SWE, but we're, we are missing one position that is from Pseudo Finance. We don't see our uh, long position here, but I would expect that to be an enhancement in the near future for SWE Vision as they are also building up their portfolio of supporting different decentralized applications. And to make your life a lot easier, I do recommend making your own Chrome profile so you can have all these bookmarks and Chrome extensions specifically to the blockchain you are using. All right, that was a lot. If this video was helpful, you know what to do. Leave a comment if there's something you are confused about or if there's another protocol you want to learn about. Gonna do some live streams soon, so having those questions will be helpful. And if you got your full value today, no, that's not how I end things. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today.